Hi guys, my name is Dr. Kavita. Welcome to my channel. So I am a postdoc fellow in New York City. I did my MD in radiation oncology and this video is going to be about how I made a choice to prepare for step 1 during my senior residency and how you can do it too while doing your residency or while working anywhere in any country apart from USA. So yeah, so when I made a decision, it was very funny. Uh, I used to study along with my friend for my residency exams while my friend was preparing for US Emily Step One. After finishing her residency in India, and I used to tell her that not even in my dreams I can imagine studying those 19 subjects again. But then life took a turn, and I made a decision to, you know, pursue US Emily and to come to USA for research. So um, I made a decision when I started my senior residency. So one thing that every one of my friend who had done US Emily told me is that you have have to start with you world the day you decide to start your us emily preparation is the day you should purchase your you world now why is that because you know when we do not have anything to lose we kind of play safe so that's what i was doing and i was kind of testing the waters and used to you know tell people that yes i am preparing but i wasn't actually serious because nothing was at stake but when i actually bought you world it was a huge investment and then you know taking all the subscription then buying first aid a uh, book for the hard copy dividing it into two parts and you know uh, downloading you world in my ipad and taking that to help hospital and reading it every day kind of started uh, uh, like as an ignition to my preparation because so many people do you world offline but that doesn't give you seriousness and trust me if you are anywhere you know after your mbbs if you start your smle journey so there is a very good chance that you do not re remember anything from mbbs days especially, especially when it comes to uh doing the mcqs so you have to be very smart with your preparation and uh the right step in the preparation can either you know encourage or discourage you so even in my one to one counseling to students who are preparing for step 1 i tell this thing that you have to start uh, the subject you feel most confident in while starting you world otherwise you would feel that it is too much for you and that you would feel that oh no this is something that's totally you know uh, out of my league or i can't seem to do it because it's been so many years i don't feel confident and blah 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 your all insecurities would seep in so one thing that i did good was starting you world with oncology because you know i was very comfortable with the subject oncology and then i kind of moved towards the more heavier subjects like you know gi or resp or renal because or micro for that matter because those were the subjects that i wasn't very well confident about because it been it had been ages since i had you know studied those subjects and especially for the mcq so this is so important how to start uh, your you world with uh, it totally depends that uh, your confidence will depend on that and some people actually start and get discouraged and then just leave the journey but no you have to start in the right way number second thing is you have to uh, like invest in finding good study partners so what i did was download uh, like facebook and uh, made a kind of fake account just for us emily because that's what people told me you have to do and you have to join various us emily groups and then talk to people who are preparing for us emily because you know in college if you are preparing for us emily it's one story but if you are preparing after finishing your college then it will be really hard to find like minded people or who have the same goals and trust me it is so important to have people who have the same goals because when i was doing my senior residency everywhere uh, people around me were either you know 
kind of settled in their job comfortable taking trips and going out and you know kind of talking about marriage but here i was in my mind thinking about this another big exam but at that time i could not even you know tell anyone about it or share kind of my stress about it because nobody would understand who were around me so i had to find the right crowd and luckily i had uh, through facebook and through whatsapp groups and even on reddit you would find step one groups so through like those groups i found like four five study partners at different stages of my preparation and most of them i'm still in contact with because they end up becoming your friends and you guide and counsel each other and that's how the journey becomes kind of doable because trust me you know if you are somebody who has let's say done residency or who are in residency then you have kind of lost touch to the recent topics and when you find study partner so you'll find them in different stages like one of my study partner was a third year med student other one of my study partner was a fresh graduate from mbbs so they would kind of tell you what your qualities are as a student or as a usmd aspirant and they will update you on the latest study techniques or latest kind of materials and study styles and they will push you to you know uh, like study regularly and focus on your goals so that you have like weekly targets and you can discuss them uh with them but how to study with a study partner again you can uh talk to me on instagram or dm me for one to one counseling and we can talk about it more now number third point is kind of managing the time because that becomes challenging like you are already set settled in your life you feel settled and you are earning so aapko burden feel nahi hota you know that i have to crack this exam because you know again like nothing major is at stake so what i used to do is uh, immediately after coming from hospital i wouldn't take a nap but i would just straight ahead call my study partners for the accountability and so that you know i don't kind of lazing around so i would immediately start studying and go to uh, go in my room where i had like this whole setup of table chair and my laptop open so where i would immediately start doing u world question and for 3 to 4 hours we'll do questions and in between i would take a tea break and then after that session i would feel really productive so those uh, that is how my weekdays would look and so that i would be able to cover more during weekends but i would take frequent holidays even from work because i knew what my end goal was and towards the end of my preparation uh, when i was not able to kind of increase my score that is when i made the decision to actually resign from my job now as a senior resident i could but i don't know if you can or you know if you won't be able to but there are still many ways to take leave for a month or two and that is what i did and uh, for me that stage was either do or die and uh, i needed that kind of uh, you know talwar uh, on my head so that to make me realize okay i have to crack this because that was the last chance that i gave myself because before that i had filled step 1 fee but at the end i did not feel prepared enough so i end up kind of wasting around 1 lakh because that's how expensive uh, the uh, step 1 fees is so this was the last time that i you know told myself either this or you know you just leave this journey so in those two months i gave my best and ended up clearing step 1 but uh, it takes a lot of uh, dedication and resilience to prepare and to continue the step one journey Prep- now being uh, somebody who had already done a uh, pg and you know cleared the indian pg exam in step one i can say that both the exam taught me different thing but uh, somewhere step one told me uh, kind of taught me that uh, it is not a sprint but it's a marathon so you have to prepare for the long runs so if you study every day continuously you won't be able to succeed but you if you balance these with the break days and you know make your routine such that uh, you take those break days and come back again and plan very strategically then you'll be definitely able to succeed and the 
kind of uh, mcqs you have to do the kind of uh, concepts you have to learn is not something that we are expected in the indian pg exam at least at my time when i you know cleared it so uh, you have to be very clear in your concepts and you have to be very attentive for whole eight hours because that that's how long the exam is so these are the all things that i learned in my journey i do provide one to one counseling uh, so you can dm me on instagram i also have a a video guide for all the step on resources you can again dm me if you want to uh, buy that but uh, i will keep on sharing these videos and please tell me in comments if you like such videos and subscribe for more such content good luck